Hey guys, welcome back to The Link. Church at home, church at home vlog, whatever. This is where we come to party. So we are in the book of Luke right now, guys. We are reading the book of Luke together. I'm so excited for you guys to be here, to be with me. Hey, if you don't have the reading plan or the take home, then you can go online at churchinthesun.com. You can go to churchinthesun.com and we have it on there, okay? Go to our church website, you can navigate over to the link page, and on there is the take home and is the reading plan, so you can follow along and read with us. Now, this last week, we started the book of Luke, and last week I talked about who is Jesus, right? And looking at those chapters through the lens of who is Jesus, and, and we should always be looking at it through the lens of who is Jesus. Uh, but I also, you know, there are a lot of other people in there too that are referenced. And one of them is John the Baptist. John is a pretty cool guy. In fact, Jesus says that he is the greatest among men. And he said, even he, he said, uh, among those born of women, none is greater than John. Yet the one who is least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. So he, he I mean, John is a pretty great guy. And he's pointing out that the kingdom of heaven is even greater. Um, but he's saying John is like the best, right? Um, John, remember last week we read, and, and John the Baptist was prophesied over. Uh, he leapt in the womb, in his mom's belly. His father prophesied over him, saying that he would prepare the way for Jesus, which was pretty cool. So John knew that this was his role. And, and in Isaiah, it actually, the book of Isaiah is from the Old Testament, and it said that there would be a voice calling out in the wilderness. So, so John is the fulfillment of that prophecy, which is pretty cool. I think for most of us, he's got a plan for us that we do something that he was wanting us to, to fulfill. Um, so John the Baptist, he's preparing the way. He's the voice in the wilderness. We kind of read that in the, the last week's reading. Um, and then this week, when we're reading, I think it's seven through 13. Yeah, we should be on seven through 11, sorry, book seven through 11. Um, but I wanna talk about who is John the Baptist and what does that mean for us? So John the Baptist, um, he's in jail and his disciples, his, his followers, his people who hung out with him, who helped do ministry with him, they were, he was in jail, jail and they were talking to him, telling him about everything that was going on with Jesus. And he becomes curious. He, he wants to know. He knows that he's supposed to prepare the way for the Messiah, the one that the Jews were prophesying would come. And he wanted to make sure Jesus was the right one. So he sent a messenger and, and said, um, are you the right one? And, you know, I, I would feel a little bit embarrassed to ask that because I'd be doubting, right? And, and we're not supposed to doubt. We think we're not supposed to doubt. Sometimes people say that and we're not supposed to ask questions. You're supposed to do what you're told. And I would be kind of embarrassed to ask that question. I don't know if you guys are ever like that, but sometimes, sometimes it might feel embarrassing to ask something. But it's really cool to me the way that he asks Jesus this question. Um, it, it, he, he, you know, his messenger said, John the Baptist has sent us to you saying, are you the one who is to come or shall we look for another? Remember, he, he wanted to honor God. So he's asking Jesus for help with honoring God. And, and in that hour, he healed many people of diseases and plagues and evil spirits. And on many who were blind, he bestowed sight. So God had just done all, lots of miraculous things. And then Jesus answered them and he said, go and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed and the deaf hear, the dead are raised up, the poor have good news preached to them, and blessed is the one who is not offended by me. When John's messengers heard, had gone, Jesus began to speak to the crowds concerning John. After, after they left and he answered, so, so Jesus' answer, just to sed, set, shed some light on that, this is in chapter 7. This is what you guys are going to read tomorrow. So Jesus' answer is actually a reference to the Old Testament. 
Um, a lot of the things that Jesus, is an Jesus answers are either scripture or references to scripture um, from the Old Testament because part of what Jesus did was interpret the Bible to them. So Isaiah um, 35, Isaiah, the chapter 35 in Isaiah, uh, verses 5 and 6 is what he's referring to right now. And, oh no, I'm going to lose it. And cons these are verses concerning the Messiah that say, The eyes of the blind shall be opened, the, the ears of the deaf uh, unstopped, the lame leap like deer, the tongue of the mute sing for joy, uh, for waters break forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. So Jesus is pointing out that, hey, the things that were prophesied are happening. He didn't have to say, yes, I'm the one. He, he gave an even better answer and explained why, yes, I am the one. Um, when we ask Jesus for answers to our questions, he answers them. He's not ashamed of us for asking questions. In fact, after he answered, he answered that question with an explanation, not just a yes or no, but, but really explaining it to John, he then says, I tell you, among those born of women, none is greater than John. Yet the one who is least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. So he praises John for it. He says, this guy's awesome. Love this dude. He just made sure that I was the right one. And right before that, before he praised him and said that, he actually talked about who John is. He said, he's a prophet. So when we question uh, when we ask God for, for clarity or to give us an answer, he explains it to us. He does. He explains it to us. It, it's just what he does. He, he can speak to us through the word, um, in a thought, in a vision, in our mind, in all sorts of ways. He tells us who we are, what, what we're supposed to be doing, what we're supposed to be fulfilling. And then he also can praise us. That's amazing. He's a good God. Jesus is awesome. Now, there are some other people in, in our Bible, in this New Testament, in these next few chapters that we read, and they question God and try to trick him. And they question God and question in disbelief. Um, they want God to prove something to them instead of seeking him and wanting to honor the Lord. They're trying to show that they are better than him. And, and God doesn't like those questions. He, he's a, maybe even a little bit snarkier to them. And um, when you guys read through these next couple of chapters and you see they're called the Pharisees and the Sadducees, and we're going to talk about them next week, but the Pharisees and the Sadducees, um, they all, lots of them question God with the wrong intention. They're not questioning him so that they can follow God properly. They question him to trick him and because they want to show that they're better than him. So as you read, pay attention to how people question God and how he answers them. And if you guys have questions for God, then seek the Lord and seek him to answer those questions because he does. So I just pray right now, God bless these people, bless these people who are watching this video, who are hearing this word through me, God, through this video, through this medium. Jesus, I bless your name and I praise you for you. you are such a good God for you. Answer our questions, you bring us clarity, you tell us who we are, who we're meant to be, God, and, and you, it brings you joy when we seek you and we want to follow you, God. So I, I God, I just pray that your blessing is on these students that they feel the courage to ask questions by their family members, their teachers, uh, from me, and, and that they feel welcomed to, to ask you questions, God. Jesus, I thank you for the boldness that you give these students. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, thank you guys so much for being here, for watching, for listening. Make sure that you do, uh, you follow along with the reading and you do the take home. It's online and uh, I might even put it here in the video. So uh, check it out. I'll see you guys soon. Read this week chapters 7 through 11 and pay attention to who Jesus is throughout this book. Love you guys. See you soon.
it's time for offering. We always give 10% back to God. Your donations help us keep this ministry going. So all you've got to do is get your mom and dad and you can text the word give to this number below. We always give back 10% of what we earn to God. We use that money to do cool videos like this, to minister to people, to tell them about Jesus. We even feed them in our food pantry. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's Church at Home. If you guys are younger and in elementary school, you have your own channel at Kids in the Sun. And if you guys are older and in the mix, check out The Mix Orlando. They both have YouTube and Instagram accounts, so you guys can check those out. We'll see you next week.